Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Files, and it's once again time to crash the scones with the last day of Crashmas and another top five video. Another year, another successful Crashmas. Thank you guys so much for making this Crashmas the best Crashmas so far. And I mean, it's a yearly tradition, so it's going to come back again next year. I mean, if this year is any indication, next year is going to be bigger and better. And I'm just going to have to expand my horizons every single year, and I'm going to run out of ideas eventually. Oh, no. But yes, Crashmas is officially ending today. Today is the last day, but hey, Christmas is like tomorrow. If you guys are watching this on the day it came out, if you're not, then... Christmas is like in months, probably. I'm not 100 sure. But regardless, it's pretty exciting. 12 days of Skylander videos leads to this video. And I promised it in my reacting to video. So the first time I reacted to my first ever video, I mentioned it at the end of the video that I may do this one again. Well, if you remember in the first year of Crash was at the top five fire Skylanders, and next year, last year's Crash was at the top five water, so this year I'm gonna do my top five favorite Skylanders as an Imaginators. And you're saying to yourself, what a useless list. We can just go back and watch your top 10 and know who the five is. Well, I'm here to shock you. Since that video, there was only four games. There's now six games. And I can tell you, there's new Skylanders on there. Skylanders have moved up. Some Skylanders may have moved down. Who knows? But this list is a pretty good one, I must say. Now, as always, this is my personal favorite. You're allowed to disagree, but you don't gotta be rude about it. You can let me know who your favorite is. If you agree or disagree with me in the comments, perfectly fine with that. But it's, it's Crashmas. You gotta be good. Embrace your fellow man, you know? But regardless, we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna hop right into number five and get going with this awesome tradition. The story of Doomstone is one of the reasons I love him so much. He was the reason my addiction to Skylanders started. I noticed I had every figure in Swap Force besides for him. It became a hunt, a crazy hunt to find this guy. I put in notices on Facebook, told all my friends and family, even had Bex look in Ontario when she was there. I found nothing. I also knew nothing about Waves at the time, so he probably wasn't out then, but when I found him, it was like Eon himself opened the doors of Skylanders for me to find this amazing Skylander and bring him into my collection. Plus, he lived up to his hype. He was worth the wait, and more than worthy of my top five. Literally the reason I even started playing Skylander's Spyro the Dragon is my childhood. I'll admit that when I first saw him, I thought he was ruined. My childhood was gone. Who needs him anymore? It's done. Boy, was I wrong. As you heard in hashtag my Skylander story, I gave him the chance and it changed my opinion on the entire series. I felt like the game I played when I was only 6 years old is back 20 years later. I was very upset that he didn't make a return in both Superchargers and Imagineers, but as the headliner of Skylar's Academy on Netflix, I'll take it. Hey, it's better than nothing. I got Chain Reaction as a birthday gift to myself last year. His design caught me right away with the beard made of chains and his huge chainsaw blades, so I had to get him. My first playthrough of him surprised me. His chainsaw blades did a multitude of damage, having 10 times hits of 4 to 5 damage each time, and his Sky Chi is hands down the most powerful move in the game. Fight me. You're wrong. I'm right. I'm upset that he doesn't get to destroy the competition this season of Crash Smash, but I guarantee you, he will win season 3. Mark my words. Bringing the heat. From number 10 to number 2, Wildfire has made a huge jump, and do you want to know why? Dark Wildfire. He is an obsession I've needed since that day I saw him at EB and never bought him. For almost three years, I've been keeping my eyes out for him, hoping one day he will come into my life yet again. I waited and waited until one day, I saw a lady selling her child's collection online, and lo and behold, Dark Wildfire was there. I messaged her asking if I could buy just one, well two, from her collection, and she gratefully accepted. The next day I went and got it from her, making my heart full for the first time in almost three years. 
Also, he's a really good Skylander, but seriously, if a Skylander can stick in your mind for almost three years, he deserves the second highest spot. Having Jetpax air cannons makes this the easiest decision ever. It will only take him minutes to clean the toilet, and then... Wait. Oh! Favorite Skylanders! Oh, oh, it's Bash. No-brainer. I don't even need to explain. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I don't care what any of y'all say. I got you good. I know for a split second you saw that pop up, and whatever you're doing, sitting or standing watching, you went, what? what? You, you were confused. You probably chuckled a bit and said, oh, this gotta be a joke. Or you went, he likes Jetpack now? Second Chance is gonna be amazing when that comes out. But yeah, I had to do that as just a little prank because it was obvious who my number one was going to be. But hey, I still had to get a little bit of humor in, even though it is Christmas time. Just to take it as a present from me. But yes, as I said, for Crashmas, this is the last video for Crashmas. 12 days of back-to-back -back videos. Pretty amazing. You guys gave me so much support and love in this series. I warned, I had to give you a little warning. I was terrified, honestly terrified that you guys would be so upset that you're not going to see any videos leading up to Crashmas. But hey, we did it. It was worth the wait, in my personal opinion. So if you guys enjoyed Crashmas, I'd love to hear your feedback. So in the comments below, or just let me know. You can email me if you want, or even send me fan mail. It's all up to you how you liked Crashmas or if you didn't like it. Tell me your favorite part. Tell me something you'd like to see next year. Anything like that. I'm open to ideas because I'm going to write that eventually. So in the description, you'll find everything you need. Follow, you can follow me on Twitter. You can send me some fan mail. The, uh, the mail, mailing address is down there. And you can send me an email anytime. I'll reply as quickly as I can. But this is not the last video for 2017. I will be posting a video now in a couple days about the last video of this year. But 2018 is going to be pretty amazing, and I can't wait for you guys to join me on this insane ride. So I thank you guys again, but as always, I bid you farewell. Question, do you guys do that with me? Like, do you guys say, I bid you farewell at the same time? Do, do you do the, do the hand wave and the wink point, and then say farewell? Do you guys do that? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments if you guys do that with me. You go. Farewell.